Okay, so this that I have in my hand is the DJI Neo. Now, this surprisingly right here in my hand being this small is probably one of the most affordable drones you can get on the market right now. And to be honest, if you're just starting off in drone videography, photography, or just flying, this is what you're going to want to get. This is probably every tech lover's gift this holiday season that you're going to want to get. To be honest, the DJI drone has surprisingly exceeded my expectations as a drone. It's very lightweight. Um, it's obviously made of plastic, but what I do like a couple of things in terms of the build is that the drone propellers are protected with these little stuff around it. Okay, so it's protection um, for the propellers. You do get two replacement propellers. You've got the battery pack at the back, which can easily slide off, and you can get other batteries for it. And then it's got a gimbal protector, right, which you just switch off uh, and pull out on the top here, and then activate the drone with the charging port at the back of the drone and little buttons at the front. And it's voice controlled. So what you can do is if you don't connect it to your phone, you could just press the drone and put it on. The button at the back here and the drone comes on. If you look at that closely, And that's the drone, as you can see, the drone is on. And uh, yeah, what I want to do is I'm going to press the top here. And uh, yeah, and we're going to just test it without having to uh, use a control whatsoever. So I'm going to press the top here. And that's it over there. That's it in front of me. And I'm just going to voice the control say land. And that's where it is, it just lands. There's a couple of other modes that it actually uses while I'm outside and just playing around with this. Is there's droney, there's circular, there's spotlight. It is also a bit of a windy day and I've wanted to use it on a windy day to test its stabilization. And uh, surprisingly, it holds very well regardless of the wind. So I have some test footage where I actually use my phone and I control it manually. And you'll see for yourself just how good this is. So yeah, let's give it some testing out. All right, so this is it on follow mode. And as you can see, I've shown you what it looks like on the app. You can obviously set dimensions, height, distance, and all of that. And uh, yeah, this is the follow mode. As you can see, it's tracking me very, very good. This is the uh, follow mode as well. Um, it's continuing to follow me, as you can see. Uh, as I walk, Landing. follows me. Landing. It follows me, it follows me, um, and yeah, and you can see the app is very good, and you can kind of just drop down and select things. This is the circle mode. Um, obviously, with the circle mode, you can change the distance, the height, um, so I had it at two meters flat, a video, and you can see it just kind of followed me at a two meter distance, which is very, very good, um, and it was windy, so it was doing very well, very stable footage, okay? This is Spotlight. Spotlight is just mainly focusing on the subject and then kind of hovering in one spot. And then you like if you have to walk, like what I was doing over here, just walking towards the side and it was just turning, kind of like looking at me. So right now I'm recording and it's just lying and this is pretty much it. Um, super cool recording mode while it's just hovering. And uh, yeah, this this quite good um not the best quality but it's okay drone on the table and you can have a look at it and as i said it's very very small if i had to put my hand over it my hand actually covers it up and surprisingly this is one of as i said the most affordable drones you can get on the market the drone retails for about four to four and a half um obviously you can get it on some deals i got mine off F and B for 229 a month but that just the drone alone, right? That's just the drone itself. Um, you can also get the drone with the RC remote control, um, plus some extra batteries and some other accessories as well. And uh, that itself is going to cost you anywhere in the region of like maybe seven to seven and a half retail. And then we get the options of also getting goggles, so you can do the FPV with the joystick. Um, and that's obviously another way in which you can fly it as well. So it's cool to know that you can always upgrade 
and um, by upgrading it you can also fly it in many different ways and things like that but um yeah quite a good drone